It's easy to think that fashion is a purely visual experience, but where would our favorite runway moments be without the dramatic backing of high octane beats putting some pep in every model's step? Since 2017, it's been the sonic talents of Loic Gomez, better known as BFRD, who's been the musical visionary soundtracking Balenciaga's cinematic shows. Husband to creative director Demna, BFRD has starred in the Maison's campaigns and strutted down the runway on countless occasions himself. Musician, model, and muse, I'm joined today by BFRND. I'd love to talk about the work you've done with Balenciaga. Is it a true collaborative effort between you and Demna, or do you feel like you have free reign to interpret the collections? No, it's definitely a collaboration between Demna and I. He always gives me like keywords, a few inputs to stimulate me and to also direct me because every season it's not that he has a very concrete idea but maybe he helps me finding the good genre for this collection you know for couture he knew he wanted to have orchestral music so he gives me that he gives me some keywords and then from there I'm kind of free to go have you ever had difficulty <clears throat> translating a collection or times where the two of you creatively have butted heads oh yeah for sure you know Demna loves to push me beyond my comfort zone so sometimes you can like be a bit lost you know and it's always you know it's not easy for someone like Demna who is not a musician to explain concretely what he has in mind mm -hmm. you know so sometimes you go in a certain way that is completely not what he wants in the end. Um, we had difficult times. And in general, if something is too hard, I usually take them now in my studio and we go instrument by instrument. What do you like? What don't you like? Let's do this, this, and this. I show him melodies you know, we work on it together. If it's too hard, we need to, we need two brains, you know. Do you have a favorite soundtrack of the shows you've done? Hmm. I would say that the last Couture collection is probably my favorite right now because it's, it has changed me so much. Hmm. Um, it was my first collaboration with a real orchestra and it literally felt like giving birth to myself so much it changed something in me mm -hmm. it feels like you know people say that when you don't do couture you are a designer and once you do couture you are a couturier and that's kind of how I felt afterwards I went from what people think you know people often think I'm a DJ <laughs> which is extremely offending for me um and I think it just you know made me a music composer even if I was already before but with this piece I kind of put this stamp forever on what BFR and the East mm -hmm. was it always going to be kind of orchestral yeah the I mean it first started with this I knew very early on um, that there would be speakers bags. And I kind of immediately got the idea of making these speakers speak, mm -hmm. you know, um, because we had the previous show with silence. That is maybe one of my favorite soundtracks ever, because I think silence was so strong. And how do you top that? emotionally speaking like it was really intense so I wanted to kind of start again with silence just with a voice coming out of the speaker and so rapidly I got the idea of having a poem but somehow it wasn't enough it was a bit too mellow too romantic also given the looks that were carrying this bag um and so I thought about cloning my voice with an AI, which gives another dimension to a love poem because in the end, it's a robot. 
telling you i love you yeah you know but it was also you know this ambiguity we, between like is it demna saying i love you to his husband is he saying i love you to couture since it's my voice I, am i telling i love you to demna am i telling i love you to couture or is it all of it at once mm -hmm. you know so that was the concept for the beginning of the show and it was really clear that after that it needed to be um orchestra because it's kind of the couture way of doing music right you have to match also the craftsmanship of couture into music and for me that's orchestra i think you bringing up the um the 50th couture collection is really interesting because it was it was silent and it re relied so heavily on the sound of the clothes was that always going to be the case for that show uh, as Balenciaga's kind of reopening of the the couture ateliers yes actually mm, before that we had a bit of an etiquette glued on our backs as techno people you know mm -hmm. and people were already starting to say oh my god can't wait for the techno in couture and i'm like you really don't know us <laughs> you really don't know us if you expect techno in couture mm -hmm. i don't know for me it's also so cristobal Balenciaga to do that yeah you know the austerity of silence it's kind of it's very heavy you know are you currently working on the soundtrack for the next Balenciaga show yeah this soundtrack will be kind of different from what I used to do because it's not going to be techno it's not going to be boom 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 um I want to do hip-hop because I think it's very unexpected for me to do especially after everything I did within the house um and especially after the couture being this orchestral beauty um, I think it's such a good contrast to do hip hop, but also because hip hop has got really commercial lately. And it's this big cash machine that everyone likes to milk, you know, but we are losing somehow the essence of it and the strength of what hip hop can bring, you know, to the world. And I like to explore that. Also, like the idea of giving my vision of hip hop, because I'm not going to do Cardi B type of hip hop. God bless her. I love her. And I think she was one of the best out there. But my vision of it is very different. And it's funny. I like to, I like to play with genres that are not supposed to be mine. Mm -hmm but still have the signature, the BFR and the signature to, to it. I can do it with all genres. So for me, it's really exciting to show people what can I do in this field. I'm collaborating with someone that only does hip hop mm -hmm. because, you know, it's fascinating how two different creative visions can work together can clash against each other and how can one disrupt the other that's so fascinating and that's what i've been also doing lately um, collaborating with other artists because my vision is so different because i collaborate with people that has nothing to do with me or my style and when we find the meeting point, magic happens because it it could not happen otherwise. I'm collaborating with one of the producers of uh, UFO 361. His name is Sonus030. Um, and we already collaborated on sound for UFO 361. I fell in love with how he does hip hop. Um, I think he has a really great vision for it. 
when we worked on it together, I could see that we were a match because that's also something, you know, um, difficult to find. People you can match with is like falling in love. It's like a giant Tinder situation, <laughs> but there is no Tinder for musicians to meet. So it's the experience of life. Social media helps a lot, but yeah, we clicked and I told him right away, I want to work with you for the next soundtrack because I think we can do great stuff. 